Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Alex, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys some good attack strategies for farming loot in Clash of Clans. So without any further ado, let's go right ahead and get started. <laughs> Now to start off this video, I just want to quickly mention that I have two of my army camps currently at level 6 and two of them at level 5. However, that can to store a total of 190 troops, enough for Town Hall level 7, currently 8. But however, um, ba bases I use are normally about 73 goblins, about 5 giants, and about 50 archers or so, something like that. So I have a good meat shield, archers, and I can destroy other buildings and take the loot with the goblins. So after I just finish training my troops, I'm just going to jam them. I have a total of 105 goblins. So I'm just going to go and collect all my loot so far just to quickly show you that. Um, um, just want to be safe on the safe side just in case someone attacks me. So basically, I'm just going to go ahead and find a match. It's not hard. It cost me 580 coins. So uh, the first one I find actually here is probably the best one. This guy has about 34,750 gold and 40,760 elixir. Uh, has a good trophy output of 25 trophies, but however, I'm not aiming to get trophies. So if I lose, I'm basically losing on purpose. So if I notice, all his loot is currently stored in his storages or pumps. Um, so what, meaning that that it's easier to attack so just to quickly mention if you know saw me I placed one archer or two archers on one two buildings one on each building to destroy those that's quote-unquote stealing buildings uh, so here I'm just gonna dismiss some of my goblins uh, to take the elixir out of the elixir pumps and the gold out of the gold mines because that's where currently that's where it's all currently stored that's what you want to look for you want to look for the elixir mine elixir pumps and gold mines to be almost full or halfway full and if you notice that his uh elixir storages are empty or or and have like 300,000 gold all of it's in his mind so you want to go ahead and attack that guy not necessarily going for trophies unless you're farming right now for trophies uh with barbarians and archers but necessarily going for all the facts and gold from all of that so i just see i just dismissed all my archers here and i have a uh, 62 uh goblins left so i still have plenty of them left to for them to attack and get all the loot from but however i'm taking a look here and i noticed that i took all of his uh all of his gold and everything so I just surrendered and I gained quite a bit of gold right there uh, that's actually a really good uh, base right there so I'm just gonna go and request for more troops on my clash of clans account and people will go donate some more troops to me off my clan uh, anyways guys this is it for today guys thanks for watching this video if you guys like it please make sure to subscribe to my channel bye guys